Okay, welcome to this um, short lesson on face detection um, using what are called multitask cascaded convolutional neural networks. Um, sounds clever, so it must be. Um, and we'll be using a library uh, which makes everything just magic, um, but it works. Okay, so we'll go through it. So the link to this GitHub will be in the um, YouTube uh, description. There's just one notebook. Um, that will that will go through. So the idea with this is that it's going to look at um, pictures and it's going to find faces in them. So let's go to the notebook. Um, pretty standard install of stuff. There's an environment file on the GitHub page if you want. Um, essentially, this just needs matplotlib, um, then mtcnn, which is a pip install. Uh, pip install mtcnn and tensorflow which you can um, conda or pip install okay so the method um, that it's going to use goes through um, four stages and I'll link to a paper and also a blog post which is where I got most of this almost all of it from well between the paper and the blog post and I've, I've only uh, added a couple of extra extra things to it um, so it goes through four steps uh, well pre-processing and then then three steps so the first thing it, it does is to create uh, images of various sizes uh, to work on which is is common with with image analysis then it produces candidate windows of where faces might be using a shallow, fast convolutional neural network, which they call the proposal network or PNET. And as part of that step, it also um, merges any highly overlapping boxes. So this is stage one PNET. The second stage is RNET or refinement network, and that's another convolutional network adds a bit more detail uh, from the candidate selections it filters out things that uh, aren't um, faces like it's or tries to highlighted um, an ear up here on the um, uh, in the first phase and that's disappeared by the second and again it um, merges overlapping so we have um, a level of refinement at this stage then it goes on to the final output, which is the output network or ONET. And again, it's the same thing. It refines uh, where the images are. It filters out those that um, don't look like faces uh, with more detail. And at this point, it also adds five key points, the eyes, the end of the nose and the edges of the, the mouth. So it's going to look at a picture and identify here, it's just one face, but you'll see it will identify all faces in the picture and also give us those points. Um, magic. So that's there. You can um, have a look at the convolutional neural networks here if, if you like, uh, as it goes through processing, refinement, and then output. Um, for those familiar with um, neural networks, uh, this looks quite a heroic number of feature extractions here, 64,000 in this uh, third convolutional um, network. Um, anyway, this is, this is the structure as described in the paper. So the implementation we'll look at, uh, you can see the project page on PyPy um, for the PIP install. References here, the original presentation, um, an archive paper, and this is the blog machinelearningmastery.com. They always have really good stuff. I thoroughly recommend it. It's it, 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 it's nice stuff, um, and this is where most of this um, came from, including most of the images um, used here. So we import our libraries. We're going to import matplotlib, um, and then. From Matplotlib, also the circle and rectangle tools from, from patches and methods, and our face detection, MTCNN. So this is the first example that they give 
um, in the blog. So obviously a couple of faces to detect here. Um, all looks quite clear. Um, so we load our images from the file and we convert that to a pixel array with a matplotlib um, method and we pass those pixels to our, well, we first of all detect, set up our detector using um, the MTCNN um, module. And then our, this is the line that detects the faces. Um, and then we'll see for each face, it'll print what, what the output is. So let's run that. Did I import? Let me run the import and let me run this and we'll see what we get. Okay, so this is our um, output and our output is a, a list and each list item is a dictionary and dictionary we get keyword box and uh, this is giving us the um, coordinates um, for the box. The confidence um, which is, well, presumably the confidence that it is a face. And then a key points, which is an embedded dictionary here, left eye, right eye, nose, left side of mouth and right side of mouth. So we get that for each of the faces. So that's the, out, that's the output that we get from this library. Um, and we won't get any more output than that in the rest. The rest will now just be plotting using that information to um, just ex draw boxes around the faces, extract the faces and save those individual faces as, as JPEG files if, um, if we want to. Okay, so you will use the box boundaries um, to highlight faces using matplotlib. So we're going to define a function here, draw images uh, with boxes. It's going to load the image that we pass. It's going to plot that image using the IM show method from uh, matplotlib for showing a file, uh, a, um, a picture file. And then we're going to add a box, this bit here. We're going to add a box for each result that came out of MTCNN. So this this is the uh, the list of, of dictionaries. So you can see it extracts out the um, x and y points and then width and height from uh, the box keyword in the dictionary, and then it's going to use the matplotlib um, method rectangle for drawing a rectangle, not filling it with anything and outlining it in red, and then it'll draw that box onto the image and then at the end we'll show it. So that defines the function. So our method now give it the file name as before, um, convert it to pixels, initialize the detector, detect the faces, that returns the list of dictionary items and then call this method to draw. We get a normal TensorFlow output of stuff but now we can see we've got um, images we've got the faces outlined here okay so that works there now they also provide in the uh, the blog a more challenging example more faces to find and on the blog they use a more traditional method which um, fails uh, on this and then they use this deep learning method um, to show that it that it works. So we'll just run that to show that it can cope with more complex images. And we can see here that it has drawn boxes, faces. It's identified all of the faces correctly. Okay, so next thing, and again, the actual face recognition is just the same, but we'll use the feature uh, output. So we're going to add um, the eyes and the mouth and the uh, nose. They're the bits of the face, aren't they? 
Um, so this function is exactly the same as the one above, but now we also, for each face, we're going to look in the dictionary key points and we're going to loop through that diction with, with looking for the key, the value pair, because it's an embedded dictionary. Um, so the keys were left eye, right eye, nose, left mouth, right mouth. Um, and then we create, using matplotlib, a dot, which is a circle, and we get its coordinates. Um, the coordinates are given in the value in that dictionary. So the radius to two and color red and add that and we'll show the plot we're going to pull in a different image now um, oh let's actually plot that so that was the, the function method we'll do the same load the image convert to pixel set up the detector detect the faces and pass that list of dictionary items to the plotting method and here we have Thomas and if you look closely it's detected the face and it's also put points for eyes mouth and nose and i'll leave you to decide whether detecting um, thomas the tank engine's face is a success or a failure of a face detection algorithm um, i think it's a success thomas is real right let's now extract faces as separate figures and then we'll um we'll also go on to save them so Here's another picture example of, I don't know, some unknown poor people found wandering around the streets. So, um, <clears throat> new function, draw faces, um, and it's going to, so this is going to go through again the, the faces, but rather than um, draw on the original one it's going to create a subplot using the image um, points uh, from the face box so the rectangle that was drawn in the original one it's now going to get all of the data points for that part of the image and it's going to plot that and we'll see what that does so it'll do that for each one. And we have these. So we've got two faces, some hands, and something else. So it, it's actually found the faces. It's extracted them and saved them, uh, or, or plotted them. We haven't saved them yet. We'll do that in the next one. Um, but we've also got some ones that aren't faces. So, you know, it, it's not perfect. Um, I did find if I reduced the size of the original image by 50% of the original height and width, it, it didn't um, identify these, which are, I guess, perhaps intuitively, the higher the resolution of the picture, the more opportunity there are for things to look like faces. Um, should have plotted the uh, the facial features actually to see where it, it thought the eyes and the nose were because it, it it doesn't seem to make much sense to me. Um, anyway, so but let's uh, let's look at the confidence that it had of these because we had that from the original output. Okay, so these are our four items uh, here. We see our confidence: the first one, 0.99997, second one. Point uh, nine nine zero, third one point nine eight six, fourth one eighty two. So one thing we could do is, if we want to be more selective, we could adjust our confidence level um, for selecting and saving. So and again, it's there in the dictionary. So we don't need to do anything more on face recognition. We'll just adjust our plotting. So in this method, it's exactly the same as the one above, apart from it just checks the confidence cutoff first. Uh, so we set a cutoff confidence, and here I've put 99. And when it goes to the dictionary, it looks at the confidence value. Is it greater than 99% here? If so, carry on. Oh, so the other thing actually we'll do here is with the plot, um, we will save 
will also save it. So it creates a, a, a name face extract. We're using Python F strings to add in a number here. So I've added a counter to the loop. So the first one will be image one. And then from then on, um, it, it increments. So we've only got two here. Uh, and it's going to save those in the folder saved images. And so if we run that, we've now just got our two faces. And if we look in images, I'm already there. Oh no, I want saved images. We've got our two individual files. So you could then, we won't do that here, you could then create, you could use these extracts and you could label a whole lot of who they are and then in the future you could add a second neural net to classify people what's the probability they are um, uh, different people that you have labeled um, data for okay but that was a whistle stop tour round face extraction uh, face detection and extraction and saving using a magic library. Bye-bye.